drive to get Tunisians to participate in their still young democracy. But it's hard going in some places. In Manuba, west of the capital, a campaign to reach out to rural women fell flat, attracting just 2,000 new voters. The governorate of Manuba has one of the lowest rates of new enrolments in the country. Washogs say this represents a failure for enrolment efforts to be evenly across the nation. Tunisians are due to vote for their new MPs in late October and for a president a month later. In Tunisia's first democratic election in late 2011, around 4 million were registered. This time, the number has risen to 5.2 million, thanks in part to the enrolment campaign. Electoral officials are pleased, but concede they're not reaching everyone. The number of women registered to vote exceed the 50% of the newly registered to vote for the year 2014, meaning that women in Tunisia are becoming more aware of the importance of their participation in the process. However, sadly, young people between 18 and 21 years, the number of the registered to vote didn't exceed 21%. Some Tunisians say the elections have little relevance to their daily struggles. This seamstress, Vas Makiari, says there's no point in rolling. I tell you, this is not going to improve things. My voice, or other people's voices, is not going to add anything. It's useless. Observers say Tunisia's biggest political parties are not keen anyway on changing the electorate, as their core supporters were already registered. I think that there is this... Uh, overall idea that uh, uh, all the political parties or the strongest ones between, among them would like to keep the same proportions like in 2011. Many Tunisians though will be hoping the second vote can lead to a government that will revive the economy and improve their prospects of a better life. Yasmin Ryan, CCTV, Tunis.